The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. Oh my gosh, we've got fusarium in the wheat crop again this year. It's bad in certain places. It's everywhere for sure. And what do you do when you have fusarium? You harvest early, right? Because every rainstorm after that, that plant is mature, you lose a pound per bushel in test weight and it goes over 19% moisture, the fusarium spreads. Fusarium spreads, that means the potential for higher dawn levels and that we don't want. So get out there and harvest early. Wait just a minute Johnson, give your head a shake. Look at this crop. It is unbelievably not uniform. Is ununiform even a word? I don't know, but it's ununiform. So how are we going to do any harvest? We have the main heads here that are well into grain fill and way down in this canopy, we got little wee late tillers coming on and there's gonna be three seeds in this particular head. You can tell that right now. And these guys are gonna be mature long before this little guy is even close. He is going to be absolutely green seed. So then you say, well, we can't harvest early. We want the straw, it's worth big bucks. We wanna cut it as close as we can. That means that guy is coming into the sample. Well, we're gonna pre-harvest glyphosate this. We're gonna get around this, we're gonna pre-harvest glyphosate. Whoa, wait just a minute. So remember, when do you pre-harvest glyphosate? You pre-harvest glyphosate when the peduncle, the part of the stem right here, when it changes color from green to yellow. That's when you know there's no more translocation going on. It is gonna be a tough, tough call. We would like 100% of the peduncles change color before we spray that glyphosate. If we got to wait for this little guy down here or this little guy down here to actually get in and pre-harvest glyphosate, she's going to be a long wait and then these guys are going to go off quality. So what is the management strategy? First off, watch the weather. This is the majority of the yield and this is a thin poor field. Lots of fields have much bigger heads. In fact, I think there's gonna be some amazing wheat yields out there this year because I had a grower send me a picture of a massive head with four kernels at every florit. So the early wheat, we've had a European style spring. It's been cool, would've liked a little more sunshine, but it's been cool. We could have some 150 bushel wheat. Most of the wheat, most of the yield is in those primary heads. If you wait on, on those primary heads to harvest because of this little guy down in here, yeah, that's pretty risky. Watch the weather. If the rain is coming, you may have to sacrifice some straw. You may have to go in and just take those main heads. There's not much yield down here anyway. It's just enough to ruin the sample and make the miller want to downgrade you because of those green immature kernels in there. So if rain's coming, you might have to sit there and just come take what you can and cut the straw later. The other option is if it's gonna stay dry, then you can wait for these little guys. If you're going to pre-harvest glyphosate, will it gain you any time? The answer is yes, it will. Generally speaking, two to three days. In a situation like this, might gain you as much as four or five days, and that's a pretty big deal. But for goodness sakes, wait as long as you can because we simply don't want any translocation of that glyphosate into the grain. So get as many of those peduncles changed color as possible. I'd really like to have at least 95%, but she's just gonna be a tough call. It's just more of what mother nature brings to us in 2019. Having said that, get it out of the field because the fusarium looks harsh, but Here's hoping that some of those wheat yields are absolutely incredible because one of these days, Ontario just might grow record-breaking wheat. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and for goodness sakes, grow good wheat. <laughs>